Have you ever wondered how sand transforms into the clear, strong glass we use every day? In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating process of how glass is made, from raw materials to the finished product. Whether it's used for windows, bottles, or even smartphones, glass plays a crucial role in our daily lives. But how exactly does this magical transformation happen? Before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an incredible behind-the-scenes look at how everyday products are made. Let's get started. The journey from sand to window glass. Every time you open or close a window, you might not think about the glass that shields you from the elements. However, the journey from sand to glass is far from simple. The process of creating window glass involves multiple intricate steps, each essential for producing a clear and durable final product. This transformation begins in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, where a large manufacturing facility specializes in producing one of the most vital construction materials, glass. At this facility, raw materials like sand, soda ash, and lime are carefully mixed and melted at extremely high temperatures. This molten mixture is then formed into sheets of glass, which are cooled, cut, and packaged before being transported to window factories. The process is a blend of science, heat, and precision, all aimed at ensuring that the glass we rely on every day meets the highest standards of quality and functionality. The Ingredients for Glass At the heart of the process are giant silos filled with sand, one of the primary ingredients used in making glass. Every day, a staggering 800 tons of sand are transported into the facility to begin the transformation. Sand is mixed with two other essential ingredients, soda ash, also known as sodium carbonate, and lime, calcium carbonate. These chemicals play a critical role in lowering the melting point of the silica sand and altering its molecular structure, making it easier to handle during production. The mix of these three components, sand, soda ash, and lime, forms the basic composition of most window glass, known as soda-lime silica glass. This type of glass is perfect for use in windows as it is transparent, durable, and easy to manufacture at scale. The introduction of soda ash and lime into the mix softens the glass and makes it more malleable, which is crucial in shaping it into clear sheets. Melting the Ingredients Once the raw materials are combined, they are fed into huge melting tanks. The temperature inside these tanks reaches a searing 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, about 1,650 degrees Celsius hotter than molten lava, where it takes up to three days for a single grain of sand to travel through the tank. The purpose of this intense heat is to fully melt the mixture of sand, soda ash, and lime, allowing the resulting molten glass to flow and be shaped. At this stage, the silica in the sand is transformed chemically, with the silicon-oxygen bonds breaking down and reforming in a new, less complex structure. This liquid glass is now much easier to manipulate in shape as it begins to resemble a viscous, molten material. However, there's more to the process to ensure the glass is flawless and free of defects, such as bubbles or imperfections. Raking and Removing Air Pockets the molten glass is carefully raked to ensure that no air pockets form within the material. These air pockets can cause bubbles which would ruin the clarity of the glass. Even a small bubble can lead to imperfections, making the glass unsuitable for window use. With heat-resistant protective gear such as gloves and insulated clothing, workers handle the molten glass, carefully raking it into a more uniform flow. The goal of the raking process is to reduce air pockets and ensure an even distribution of heat throughout the material. The glass is also tapped to remove any residual air, further improving the uniformity of the mixture. This step is performed in an environment that's incredibly hot, and workers must take great care to ensure their safety as they work with this dangerous substance. Pouring the glass on liquid tin. Once the glass has been prepared, it's time to pour it into one of the most crucial stages of the process, the float method. The molten glass is poured onto a river of molten tin, a method that has been used to make flat glass since 1959. Tin, being denser than glass, provides a perfectly flat surface on which the glass can cool. This technique ensures that the glass retains a perfectly smooth surface, which is essential for window panes. The process works because the glass floats on top of the denser molten tin, much like how driftwood floats on water. 
Since tin and glass don't mix, the glass simply rests on the surface, stretching and spreading as it cools. The result is a perfectly flat surface, which is critical to ensuring the glass doesn't distort the view once it is installed in a window. The temperature of the glass as it flows over the tin is incredibly high, over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, about 538 degrees Celsius. As the glass moves along the conveyor belt, it slowly cools, hardening from the edges inward. This method allows the glass to remain flat while maintaining the clarity necessary for windows. Cooling and cutting the glass. After the molten glass is poured onto the tin, it travels along a cooling conveyor where it gradually cools over a significant distance. This cooling process is essential for stabilizing the glass, ensuring it solidifies evenly without developing internal stresses that could compromise its strength or clarity. The slow reduction in temperature allows the glass to maintain its structural integrity as it moves along the conveyor. Once the glass reaches the appropriate temperature and has fully solidified, it is ready to be cut into more manageable pieces. An automated cutting machine slices the continuous sheet into slabs that are typically 12 feet in length. These slabs of glass are now cooled, stable, and ready for the next stage in production. They are carefully packaged to protect them from damage during transport. Once packaged, the glass is shipped to manufacturers who will process it into window panes for use in homes, office buildings, and commercial structures. From this point onward, the glass will undergo additional steps, such as strengthening, coating, and final shaping to meet the specific requirements for different types of windows. Packaging the glass. The long sheets of glass are carefully packaged to ensure they are protected during transport. To prevent damage, protective materials are used to wrap the glass, safeguarding it from scratches, chips, or breakage. Special attention is paid to the packaging process because even the smallest imperfection could compromise the glass's integrity. Once packaged, the glass is loaded onto trucks for delivery to window factories such as Vowinko in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. These factories receive hundreds of sheets of glass each day, all destined to become window panes. At these window manufacturing facilities, the glass undergoes further processing to be cut, shaped, and prepared for use in various window products. The efficiency and precision of the packaging process play a key role in ensuring the glass arrives at its destination in pristine condition, ready for the next phase of production. The careful handling from the glass factory to the window factory is crucial for maintaining the high quality of the product as the glass must remain free from defects to ensure its performance and safety in the final windows. By paying attention to every detail, from the initial manufacturing to packaging and transport, the process of turning raw materials into finished window products is carefully managed to meet the high standards required in the building industry. Preparing for Window Manufacturing at the window manufacturing facility, workers wear protective gear, including Kevlar sleeves, to prevent injuries when handling the sharp glass sheets. The production of window panes involves cutting, shaping, and sometimes adding special coatings or tinting to the glass, depending on the desired properties of the window. For instance, windows that will be used in areas prone to extreme weather, such as hurricanes, require specialized coatings to improve their durability. While handling large glass sheets can be dangerous due to the risk of cuts, the use of protective clothing helps reduce the risk of injury. Workers must take great care when moving the glass, as the edges can be razor sharp. In addition, the glass can be very heavy, requiring the use of machinery and tools to assist with handling. The Window Production Process once the glass is ready for assembly, it is placed into window frames. This process involves fitting the glass into aluminum, vinyl, or wooden frames, depending on the type of window being produced. Special seals and gaskets are added to ensure the window is airtight and water resistant. The glass is also sometimes laminated or treated with low emissivity coatings to improve its energy efficiency. For windows that will be installed in buildings in regions with harsh weather conditions, additional treatments may be applied. Hurricane-resistant windows, for example, are designed to withstand high winds and flying debris. These windows are often made with multiple layers of glass, laminated together with special adhesive materials that help the glass resist breaking upon impact. Testing and Quality Assurance 
Before windows are shipped out for installation, they undergo rigorous testing to ensure they meet the highest standards of quality, safety, and durability. These tests are crucial to verify that the windows can withstand various environmental and physical conditions, ensuring they perform optimally over time. One of the most critical tests is the pressure test. This simulates the extreme conditions windows might face during severe weather, such as high winds and heavy storms. The test involves subjecting the window to fluctuating air pressures that mimic the forces it would experience in a storm. By doing so, manufacturers ensure that the windows will not fail under such intense conditions, providing homeowners with the peace of mind that their windows will stand strong during extreme weather. Another key test is the impact resistance test. This measures how well windows can withstand the force of heavy objects, which may be thrown against them during storms or accidents. A variety of objects, including debris or hailstones, are used to assess how well the glass holds up under sudden impact. This ensures that the window's glass will remain intact and secure, preventing injury or further damage. Windows are also tested for their ability to insulate against noise and temperature fluctuations. Insulation is essential for energy efficiency and comfort, so windows are tested to determine how well they block noise from the outside and maintain consistent indoor temperatures. These tests involve measuring how much heat is transferred through the glass and assessing its ability to keep sound from entering or escaping a room. By subjecting windows to these comprehensive tests, manufacturers ensure that the final products meet the highest standards of safety, functionality, and energy efficiency, making them reliable choices for homes and commercial buildings. Distribution and installation. Once the windows pass all quality assurance tests, they are carefully packaged and shipped to their final destinations. These destinations could be construction sites, building suppliers, or directly to consumers. The packaging process ensures that the windows remain protected during transport, preventing any damage to the glass or frames. Special materials are used to secure the windows, safeguarding them from scratches, chips, or breakage that could occur during handling or shipping. Upon arrival at construction sites or suppliers, the windows are ready for installation into the frames of buildings. The installation process is crucial for ensuring that the windows fit perfectly and function as intended. Skilled professionals install the windows, ensuring that they are properly sealed and secured to prevent air and water leaks. This step also involves making sure the windows are aligned with the building's structural elements for both aesthetic and functional purposes. In conclusion, the journey from raw sand to the transparent, durable glass we rely on every day is a fascinating one. It involves a combination of heat, chemistry, and precision engineering. From the melting of silica sand to the cooling and shaping of molten glass, every step is critical in ensuring that the final product meets the highest standards of quality and functionality. The process not only requires advanced technology, but also a deep understanding of materials and their behaviors under extreme conditions. And that's a wrap on our journey into the world of glass making. We hope you found this behind-the-scenes look as fascinating as we did. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, don't forget to like, comment, and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What other everyday materials would you like to see explored in future videos? Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more insightful and educational content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.